For the past decade, we've watched as the world has entered the drone age. It's become commonplace to see a drone flying above a construction site, doing aerial photography, or just flying someplace for fun. But many people aren't used to drones, so when they see one, they ask, what is that? What's it doing? Why is it there? Now, DJI has developed a system that starts answering these kinds of questions. We call it drone-to-phone remote identification. Drone-to-phone remote ID is a way for anyone to remotely identify a drone in real time on a smartphone. You can see information like the flight path of the drone, the location of the pilot, and an ID number for the drone, which is like a license plate. This helps address safety, security, and accountability for drones and the people who fly them by letting authorities and anyone curious have access to this information. For drone pilots, this means that accountability becomes the rule rather than restrictions. Regulators have made clear that they need a reliable remote ID system as more drones enter the skies. DJI worked with industry peers and government officials through a group called ASTM International to develop a remote ID standard that can work right now. Drone-to-phone remote ID uses an industry standard Wi-Fi radio signal and can be received by a commonly carried smartphone. And we are very glad to have the support of the Wi-Fi Alliance in this project and are using their Wi-Fi Aware Broadcast Protocol which provides a virtually cost-free solution which can be implemented in many drones right now with just a simple firmware update. We're here in Montreal where we're demonstrating the ASTM International Standard for Remote Identification. At this United Nations event, we've shown regulators from around the world drone-to-phone remote ID works in an urban environment, but you can also take it out to the mountains where there's no cell phone connectivity and it will work just as well in that environment. Everyone here really appreciates that this isn't just a concept or a technical paper, but it's a real remote ID solution that can work today. And the brilliance of this solution is that it works everywhere in the world. But this isn't the only way to do remote ID. Another way is to connect drones over a cellular network that feeds to an internet-based service. This network remote ID approach has advantages for complex operations like drone delivery or long-range flights. But since it requires extra steps for the user and likely paying monthly service fees, it may not be right for everyone. We think drone users should be able to choose to either use broadcast remote ID or network remote ID instead of being forced to use one or the other, or even worse, both. Remote ID is coming, and we need to make sure we get it right. To fully unlock the potential for drones in business, science, photography, education, or just for fun, we need a system that provides accountability for drones and their pilots without heavy-handed restrictions. That's what DJI's drone-to-phone broadcast remote ID solution does. It's another example of how an innovative approach allows us to do great new things with drones while ensuring safety, security, and accountability in the skies.